This is Trojan News. Welcome to 2022's first edition of Trojan News. I'm Donaldo. And I'm Mary. We'll be, we'll be your, your host, host for today. today. Over the years, there's been a recent attraction for cell phones. Reporter Cameron Sparks has investigated this rising issue, and here's what she found. Oh, hey. If this looks familiar, it's probably part of your everyday life. We decided to take a closer look at this new developing necessity in today's world. Cell phones are used worldwide by various users. Developing technology to better communicate and interact with multiple sites has created a more technology-based community. Social media has gradually grown in popularity over the years. Cell phone attraction grew worldwide due to the growing technology aspects of the cell phone. Social media and cell phones grew in fame because of the accessibility to everyone worldwide. On cell phones, you can see consumers using multiple apps to interact with things globally. I think that there's for sure a cell phone addiction because it doesn't really feel like we can go anywhere or do anything without someone having a cell phone present. There are many obvious pros and cons to having phones in class. Here are what some of the teachers have to say about cell phone use. I definitely noticed an impact on cell phone usage during class and then kind of the grades you're getting as a result of that, yeah. I don't think it rises to the level of addiction for every student, but it is certainly something that is um, very distracting and it's constantly right there. So um, I don't think it's an addiction for everybody, but it can be an issue. It's really about balance and kind of policing them. Uh, if I let them just have their phones, they'll do everything on it and be on it all day. But if we teach them to use it as a tool and not just for gaming, because Roblox is pretty popular with my sixth grader especially, I think that it can be beneficial. Mrs. Crooks is not only a teacher, but also a parent who has views on cell phones at home. I think that it's really easy for the kids to be on their phones all the time, so we have rules. If we're going to have family movie night, phones have to be put away, meal times, phones are put away, that kind of thing. Cause we don't need to always be, you know, have that in our face. Knowing the details about phones in our everyday life, you can notice the effects it can have on one personally. Something like this. You may stop and think about what you now know. This has been Cameron for Trojan What an eye-opening story. That sure makes me notice the impact a cell phone can have. Recently, weightlifting has gained popularity among WHS students. News reporter Miatu visited gyms to get insight on the increase of student weightlifters. Weightlifting has become a very popular activity amongst teenagers. As you can see, many students at Worthington High School are getting into weightlifting. Since more influencers are promoting a healthy lifestyle, weightlifting has become a trend on social media. And now, more students are starting to lift weights. All athletes at Worthington High School are required to lift weights, but there are also students that choose to weightlift on their own. According to Mr. Arroyo, a FIA teacher at Worthington High School, social media can be both encouraging or damaging for weightlifters depending on how it affects people. Hardest thing is understanding that everyone is on their own weightlifting journey. So if you see someone picking up really heavy weight, it can be intimidating, but remember everyone starts at their own place and has their own journey, so. The two most common places students lift at is the Worthington High School weightlifting room and the YMCA. Both locations have their own perks depending on what the students prefer. Emmanuel Raphael, a senior at Worthington High School, prefers to lift weights at school because it's free and has all the weightlifting equipment necessary. He has noticed an increase in his strength and hopes it will help him prepare for wrestling. I like weightlifting because I it makes me feel strong, you know, and I appreciate myself. You know. Benjamin Caballero, on the other hand, a junior at Worthington High School, prefers to lift at the YMCA. He likes that the YMCA has more weights, equipment, and space. Weightlifting is something that is still new to Benjamin. Um, I mostly started getting into weightlifting because I was really um, overweight when I was younger. And then I started to look at it on TikTok, you know, JPG coaching, stuff like that. A big reason why weightlifting is gaining attention is social media. It can. I mean, social media can be encouraging. It can also be damaging depending on how it affects us. But it has the potential to definitely bring weightlifting into the spotlight and fitness as a whole. So 
hopefully it helps our students more than hurts them. Besides from the huffing and puffing and moaning and groaning, weightlifting can be very beneficial for teens. This has been Mia Tu for Trojan News. Ugh. Ugh. It's awesome that more students are starting to lift weights. This also makes me feel motivated to go lift weights. I think I'll go right after school. From October 5th through the 10th, the marching band was in Quero, Texas, celebrating the 50th anniversary of our two towns racing turkeys. For more on the trip, we head over to Dylan Dykstra. In this story, we will be talking about the Wellington Trojan Marching Band going to Quero, Texas, and the events that will be going on. The band went to Quero, Texas to play in the parade on October 5th. They went on a very long 18-hour bus ride down there. They went to celebrate the 50th anniversary of Quero and Worthington racing turkeys. Marco Ramos is a section leader for the clarinet. Very long bus ride and um, hopefully a lot of good memories that a lot of people are going to make, especially the freshmen. Um, it's really going to be in, like, for the rest of their lives. It's a really a unique experience to just you know, go down to Texas and you know, meet a whole bunch of new people. While in Quero, the band stayed at the Comfort Inn Hotel for their stay. They also ate many meals at the intermediate school in Quero and went to the festival and ate delicious food, played some fun games, and rode so many exciting rides. They stopped at Bucky's for food and souvenirs on the ride home. Mr. Thompson worked very hard to get the band to Texas. I've been doing, um, it's a lot of planning, a lot of communicating back and forth between here, Quero, entities around town, um, and just kind of making sure that every single detail it's thought of and planned for. Um, I have never worked with this many people to make a singular thing happen, but there's so many people within the district, in the community, and in Quero that are involved that it's, it's, it's unreal how much help people have, have given. We also asked Quinn Mathis, an underclassman in the band, what he thinks it'll be like. Uh, I think they're going to be similar to like Turkey Day in a way because there will obviously be a big parade and there's going to be like a festival afterward and then. This has been Dylan for Trojan News. Sounds like an exciting opportunity for the marching band. Last year, a soccer program opened up in Worthington and has been really successful in the community. Trojan News journalist Sarah Escobar interviews some members of the program and tells us a bit about it. Oh hey, are you interested in soccer? Um, do you want to improve in your kicks? Are you 6, 16, or 18? Well now you could join Worthington United Soccer Club. Worthington United started off by practicing at Wantland Park. They practice at the middle school for outdoor season and during indoor season they practice at the field house and sometimes at a church gym. Now let's hear from one of the boarders, John Gosselin, and what motivates him to help out United. Things mainly. Um, one is kind of uh, uh, trying to benefit the community. I mean, that's that's one of the things that uh, that was really important to me. But uh, you know, selfishly, it was trying to create a soccer team for my son. I, I wanted him to have something that he could do locally um, in order to play. And and uh, my my older son always had the opportunity to play here in Worthington. And, um, uh, and I wanted my younger son to have the same opportunity. So He does the paperwork for the U8, U10, and U12 teams to have games during the weekend. They also add a U16 and maybe a U18 during the winter and spring so older kids can play all year around. They're planning on making a girls soccer team this year since there's at least one girl in every team. Worthington United president of the border, Mario Cadola, and his friends wanted to train little kids with a free program, and they made it happen. It's been very successful so far, and we got a chance to talk to one of the U17 and U12 players. Emilios Kelly joined during the summer, and we asked him why he joined the Worthington United Soccer Club, and if he's going to play another season with them. He also said it's a fun hobby and a way of life. He told us that he improved on dribbling and passing, but overall having a fun game. And we also talked with the captain of U12, Mike, who also improved in his touch, passing, and shooting. Yes. Why? Uh, because it's good. I can get faster. I, I can lose weight and I can just 
like at home, I could just, at home I just play and stuff, but here I have something to entertain me. When they're losing, he encourages his team by saying to be more prepared, more focused, and to pass more. The Worthington United Soccer Club helps kids become better in their skills and their kicks. But this program helps the other kids to pursue their dreams and goals. So if you have any siblings, friends, relatives, or even neighbors who like playing soccer, tell them about Worthington United Soccer Club. This has been Sarah from Trojan News. If you know anyone thinking about joining the soccer club, there you go. That sounds like a great soccer program. Speaking of soccer, this year the boys' soccer team has been on a roll and is going to state. Reporter Donaldo Soto speaks with the coach and team on this season. The varsity soccer team is this year's Big South Conference champions. This is a title that the team has won four times in the last five years. <laughs> this season, the boys team has 14 wins and two losses against Marshall and Holy Angels. Their hard work in practices and in the offseason is a big reason why they are so successful. Oscar Galvez, a senior captain, reflects on their success. It feels nice to be uh, champions of our conference, but you know, you got to... Uh, you gotta always keep on working harder because uh, we're just not looking for the conference championship. We're trying to look for sections and try to make it a state, you know? That's the main goal, make it in a state. Since interviewing Oscar, the team has made it to the first round of state. According to Coach Flores, the team does a lot to prepare for tough games. The team prepares uh, for games. We do a preseason at the beginning of the year in August for about two weeks before we start playing. Uh, there's a lot of conditioning that goes into it. There is uh, different exercises that we do, agility, um, passing, um, finishing. There's a lot of things that go into it, a lot of preparation. Uh, most of our conditioning is done during those two weeks since we have a lot of games, whether it's Tuesday, th Thursday, Saturday, like we had this year. Um, there's not a lot of time to uh, recover and there's not a time for us to do conditioning. Um, so we just try to get conditioning in as much as we can, where, where we can, but uh, usually those first two weeks of preseason, we, we hit uh, conditioning pretty hard. Winning games doesn't just come from the offense. It also comes from the defenders. Luis Vela, a sophomore defender on the boys varsity team, knows why his role is important. Saves the goals, you know. When our goalie's lacking, we're there. You know, we wouldn't be nowhere without defense. Last year, the boys lost in the first round at State against Homer. The boys are hoping to win the state championship this year and make another trip to state next year. Trojan Johnson! One, two, three, Trojans! Go Trojans! The team is doing very well this season. We hope the soccer team can keep doing this for years to come. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching Trojan, Trojan News. News. This, this has, has been, been Mary and Donaldo. Catch, Catch you next time. time.